Sylvia has a wonderful family, and it's family that are the important people in wheelchair massage. And so how I teach the families, I have one person on one arm, and I'm on the other arm. One person on one leg, and I'm on the other leg. So I teach in tandem, two people. And that's one of the most important things is to have a family member learn. The most important start in your wheelchair massage is to lock the wheels on the wheelchair. If I don't have these wheels locked, it means as I'm massaging, she's going to move around. So I put the lock on the wheelchair and then she can't go anywhere when I'm massaging her. So number one important thing to do. The other important part of wheelchair massage, it's the same as any massage, is the F word. Feedback, feedback, feedback. So if I ask you a question, Sylvia, how's the pressure? You can tell me what kind of pressure to use on you. So how is the pressure with this massage on your hand? Should I be lighter? Should I be a little lighter? Okay, should I be firmer? Okay, good. So that kind of feedback between Sylvia and I is really important. And you'll develop a rapport and radar for your patient. And thank you for your feedback. So I'm going to start with Sylvia's shoulders and work around here with a bilateral thumb kneading. I'm going to go out all the way to here, especially for those people that are wheeling. Is that too firm? Should I be lighter? Is that better? Okay, great. So that kind of feedback, even if they're hard of hearing, don't be afraid just to yell in their ear. And then we're going to go right up here in the neck. How's that pressure, Sylvia? Is the pressure good? Try this side. Is the pressure good? Okay. And then the other way that I do this is being able to have one hand on the forehead and then scoop like this. So it's good to start with the good. It's good to start with the head, neck, and shoulders, and this is like a scooping stroke. And I tilt her head forward and then will scoop. Good, will that uh, stir my brain a little bit? It'll stir your brain a lot. Oh good, carry on. Thank you. So we're working all up in here, and then we can take our fingertips and work all around where this large trapezius muscle attaches to the base of the skull. All in little, little fingertip means with an upward stroke, all the way from one side around to my side. So all the way around here. You could also switch sides. So be creative with your movement for yourself when you're doing the massage and be able to keep getting feedback from the person on the receiving end. How does that feel, Sylvia? Does it feel good? Okay. So what I'd like to do is show you how to do the arm massage. So Sylvia, let's show the arm massage. It's very good when people are coming into a new situation to do head, neck, and shoulders first and be behind the person. And then you get relaxed. And if you're a little shy, that's a good way to start. But once you've got all that done, then come around the side and you can have this one-to-one -one visiting, which is very important. So I'm going to massage your arm and I'm going to teach you about the principles. So we always start at the top. And do you know why we'd start here, Sylvia, and not at your hand? Any ideas? 
I'm going to start here to open up the circulation. It's like uncorking the bottle. So we're going to open up here with a reinforced palmer kneading. We're going all around the shoulder. And this muscle is called the deltoid. And we're going to go around the deltoid like that. And then we can do a single-handed palmer kneading. And then we're going to move into an alternate thumb kneading. And it shows up really well against Sylvia's dark shirt. And we're going down her biceps, all the way down to the elbow, and back up again. Okay, now we want to get the back muscles, the triceps. So I'm going to hold her arm like this, and I'm going to work all in the back, like that, all the way down to the elbow. And this bump here is called the olecranon process. And we're going to work all around that with the palm of our hand right here. Okay, and then we're going to let our arm rest on the armrest, and we're going to do a single-handed kneading like this, and then what I'm going to do is take both thumbs and go like this. So you can work right through their sleeve, or you can always slip their sleeve up and work like that. And then we're going to turn our arm over, and we're going to let the elbow bend, and then just let it rest down on the arm of the chair. Let your arm drop. Good, perfect. And we're going to go all the way back and forth on the forearm. And again, we can just move these out of the way and work right in here. And again, just let your arm rest down. Perfect. And we're going to do this corkscrewing right out of each finger from the midline to the outside, taking each one individually. The middle one, it doesn't matter which way you go. You can go that way or you can go that way. And we'll do each one of your fingers. Should I be doing that myself some? Oh, all the time. It's good for your fingers if you massage them yourself or if you have somebody else massage them. And then just let your whole hand relax, that's good. And what I do is I work all on the heel of the hand and then right into the base of each finger. And Sylvia has beautiful hands. She has hands that are very supple. She doesn't have a lot of arthritis or osteoarthritis in her hands. And so her hands are, are very lovely. They, they look just like mine. But not in my hands. How old are you, Sylvia? Are you under we always come up with that thing. I'm, six, I'm 62, and my hands look a lot like Sylvia, and she's not given up her age to tell us what sort of age difference there is between the two I'll of us. I'll tell you my age. Half and half. I'll tell you when I'm my age is. But you'll have to guess. 80 what? 81. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 86. Oh my gosh. So these are wonderful hands. You probably will never have problems with your hands, Sylvia. They're very lovely. And then we're going to do an effleurage to finish off where we push all the way up and we glide back without any pressure. So the pressure, folks, is up the arm so that we're promoting the venous return and then we're gliding back without any pressure. I'm going to be massaging Sylvia's back. I'm going to give your back a massage, Sylvia. Do what you like. Thank you. So in a wheelchair, you want to straddle the wheel. Make sure that you put your foot inside and have your hand across so that you're stabilizing your person in the chair by doing this. That way as I push, they won't flip forward. I'm gonna take my hand down behind Sylvia. I'm gonna get her trying not to help me. Don't help me, just lean back against my hand. Thank you. So I that, did cross your arm, I'm pretty big. That's good, that's good. And then what I'm doing is I'm massaging all the way down 
into Sylvia's lower back. Ooh, ooh, mm -hmm. you've touched a, a very tender spot. And I've, I've got the right spots. Does that feel good? Oh yeah, that's all right. But when you touch me here, yeah. the candy is it? Yeah. We'll see if we can do that even better the next time. So the idea is to lever up. So you're going to press back with this part of your hand against the chair, and then you're going to lever up so that we're massaging with our fingertips. So again, I'm sliding down. I'm going to go all the way to the very bottom to right on Sylvia's hip. And then I'm going to massage. So I'm massaging right down at the bottom, and I'm coming up until I get up to this spot at the top, okay, at the base of her skull. Okay, so it's this kind of movement. So you can do it this way, and you can put this hand across, or this hand could be here, and I could go down this way. But this way I can get up here, and I can go down, and just lean back against me, Sylvia. And lean back against me, thank you. And get all the way down. And then I am, again, levering with both fingers of both hands at the same time. And I'm massaging all the way back up. And I'm pressing down also on the chair itself. And you can see how she bounces forward. And it's this kind of movement. I can also do it without and just get all the way down and wiggle down and all the way down. And so I'm massaging down in her hips, down all around this part of her lower back. And I'm doing this kind of thing so that I'm working all around there with a hand on either side. Here we go. And you can lean back against me. There we go. And I can do that at the same time, or I can alternate. And you could do this for about 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 5 minutes, or in this case, just a couple of minutes, and you'll still make a difference. There we go. Is that okay? Sure. Is the pressure good, Sylvia? Okay. I'm going to come slowly out, working up your back at your waist then all through your ribs, then all the way up here to your shoulder blades. And then I'll turn my hands around and keep them going. And this stride position with one foot under the chair and one foot standing back is a very strong position. Okay. I hope you realize you're being very personal. Is it the right kind of personal? <laughs> and then I'm going to pull with a long stroke. And just lean back against me, Sylvia. That's right. Thank you. That's good. Great. Imagine putting my head up and find myself in a camera. <laughs> so now I'm going to do your legs. And I'm going to show different ways that we can do underneath the hip. So to begin with, you can move this completely out. Some chairs, the arm just flips back like that. And then we've got the wheel to contend with. So then I put Sylvia's arm out of the way like this. And there are two or three ways to get at this hip. One is we can go under this way. Don't help me. Thank you. And then we can, and once I'm under, then I will help you. Don't help me. And then we're lifting up like this. You need muscle for this. Aha. Uh -huh. Then here, sometimes you need a, a towel or a, a protector so that you can press down with the back of your hand there. So we get underneath, and then we press down. So I take a stride position like this and we lift up like that, all into the hip. And so I'm lifting up. 
So this is one of the more awkward sides to do. It's easy when you go to the far side. So I'm just going to take this out so you can see where my hand is going. And let's see if I can get this so it's moving. I'm going up and out. So what I'm going to do here so I'm not hurting my back is I'm going to straddle here. And then I'm going to lean on you. I'm going to lean on your chair. Do what you like. Thank you. And so I'm going to get Sylvia's elbow out of the way. And we're going to get right underneath her rear end. So it's personal. And we're going to lift and lift. And we're going to lift her up. So you can see her wiggling. And you can see how I press down with the back of my hands. So I'm not having a lot of effort at all in my forearms. But I'm massaging with my fingertips. And I'm pressing down and lifting up. Pressing down and lifting up. Pressing down and lifting up. How's the pressure, Sylvia? How's my pressure? How is the pressure? Easy. Okay. And you can work away here. And it's this ischial tuberosity that's that bony bump right there that you want to rub. Are we rubbing you the right way? I'm doing all right. Good. You're doing great. Now, there's another way to get underneath there. We're going to bring these down put them back in their slot, and this time I'm going to lift up Sylvia's foot and put it on me, and then I'm going to take your leg that way, and I'm going to slide my hand underneath, and you know what, I'm going to take this back out of the way again. Sorry Sylvia. My shoe might hurt you. It's okay. Let me take it off. I'll do that. I'll do that for you. Let me just get this back out again. There we go. So what we're going to do now is show you how to get underneath there by bringing her knee towards the midline and leaning it that way. And that way I can get underneath. And again, I can massage that ischial tuberosity. I can get right underneath there and do this kind of thing. And then I can come all the way down the leg. So again, we're going to uncork the bottle by working the hip first, doing some big strokes, then some specific strokes, and then I'm going to work with my fist underneath like this, all along the hamstrings, and we're going to work down that iliotibial band like that. So that gets all of this leg done here. So the fingertip leading up and down here with some long thumb stretching strokes and again opening up the hip. Does that feel good? And when we do the ringing like this, again I'm going to put my foot here and ring. And you can drop your leg down and we're going to ring and we're going to really wrap underneath the hamstrings. And we're going to push and pull, and push and pull. And if you're going to work in the knee, I'd like you to squat down or pull up a chair. But you can work all around the, the knee in these big, huge, alternate thumb kneadings. Nice and slow, all the way around the kneecap itself. I hope this helps because I'm not having pain or walking. This is really important to massage the legs and your knees. And then we're going to work in the back again with an uplifting stroke all in the back here. And then what we're going to do on the lower leg is we're going to lift it up. But you have to put your foot down. Yep, and then I wedge a foot down with my knee. So I'm actually keeping her foot in place, and then I'm lifting and lifting. So what I'm going to do here is lift, 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 like that. And then I'm going to do a groove and lift right from the Achilles in the very bottom and right up. How's the pressure? Good? And then I'm going to ring back and forth. 
It's a little bit tangled. Okay. Is that better? Okay. Yeah. Your knee was pressing. Oh, too up. much on your foot. Yes. Oh, gosh. Sorry. And then we're going to do the alternate thumb meeting all along the tibialis anterior here, up and down. And you can do both sides. You can also take the foot and lift it right up and be able to have it so right. We'll get around that. And you can go like this all around the ankle bones and you can do this and just let your leg drop that's good thank you and then you can use the heel of your hand all around the heel of their foot and you can also leave their shoes on sylvia has support stockings but for a lot of people if you take off their shoes their feet pop up so you can also massage right through the shoes themselves so because she's got corns here, I'm very careful around the toes. But don't suddenly uh -huh. I'd like to get one of those things you put on it. That would help. Got a little hole. Yeah, the corn pads. And you can do this thumb kneading underneath the sole of the foot and on top of the sole of the foot. And just drop your leg down for me. Good, thank you. You can also do the rotations for the ankle before and after your massage. And then you can do all the upward stroking. Remember the pressure is up towards the heart and then glide back without pressure. And let me show you how we can also do the massage right through the shoe so that we can give a squeeze like this and work right through the shoes. So that sometimes that's not still... The right shoes. What's that? They're not the right shoes. They're the perfect shoes. Yes. Yep, they're just fine. And you can okay. give a squeeze. Sylvia, what I'm going to do to begin uh, the abdominal massage is a big stroke on your tummy that looks like one hand chasing the other like that so we're going to go around and round is that enough pressure is that enough pressure yeah okay and then we're going to do a ringing now again for me to get the best grip means that i'm going to put a foot delicately between her feet and that way i can really ring like this I can get right into That's the back. That's a big territory. <laughs> you have a tiny tummy. And then we're going to go around the back like this, and we're going to pull forward. The innervation for the tummy comes right from the back here. So we're going to massage there, and then we're going to come around the front. And this stroke is one of my favorites. So one hand goes around and around, and the other hand chases it like this. It's an overhanded palmer kneading. And then we're going to do a fingertip kneading. Now, we've got a digestive system that goes in a square. The small intestine's right here, all bunched up in the middle. Then it hooks up right here to the large intestine. It goes up the ascending colon, across the transverse, and down the descending. And usually this is where we have trouble, where things get backed up. So we can start there. Is that enough pressure? That's enough. Okay, is it too much? No. Okay, thank you. And then around the corners. I, li I linger in the corners there. And then around here. Okay, and then I finish off with a very light reflex stroking. Very light with the fingertips. So that's the sort of tummy rub that you could include in your wheelchair massage and that will really help the digestive system so by working the tummy directly and by working the hips then it makes everything go even smoother because remember when you're sitting in a wheelchair your hips aren't moving your digestive system is challenged and compromised
So this will help your yes. digestive system move yeah. smoothly and actively so that any rubbing to the tummy is a good thing or you can put a hot water bottle on, something like that, and let it all relax. So now I'm going to work right here. So I've got one thumb on the back of her head and my fingertips are right here kind of like a little tripod. And how does that pressure feel, Sylvia? Is the pressure good? It feels good. But I wonder what I look like. <laughs> you look gorgeous. Let's ask our camera people. Susie, how does she look? She said beautiful. You may, you may stir my brain a little bit. That's that good. That would help all of us. And then you can do all of the faces. My son will be very grateful to you. And we're going to do upward strokes on the face. And we're going to give Sylvia a little bit of a facial while we're here, working all around. And for people that are getting increasingly weak, will that include the contours of my face? It's a facial uplift. It's an uplifting moment all around here and then up here so even though my elbows are up high and I look like I'm about to take flight it's a very good angle for being able to work here and all in here and especially with Sylvia's smiling muscles working right here around the ear is really important and then you can do upward stroking and outward stroking. So remember, as I'm finishing, you can always ask the person on the receiving end if they have a favorite. So this is my first favorite tummy. Usually people will say arms, legs, shoulders, face, that kind of thing. I wish I could say that. No, you can say any of it. This is a darn nuisance. Darn nuisance. And does this make it feel better? Huh? Does this feel better? Oh, it feels fine. But will it reduce me? <laughs> no. So would you like one more favorite before we finish? Where would you like me to finish? Okay, we'll go back to the tummy again. Okay, so it looks like we've got a kitten on our hands here. Sylvia has twice asked for the favorite tummy rub. So thank you very, very much for helping me. Thank you very much. And thank you for helping me teach. What? Thank you for helping me teach. Did I? Yes, you did. Well, thank goodness. I'm, I'm worth something. Oh, definitely. And I'm going to finish with one of my favorites. So I'm going to work on your hands here. Because you have the most beautiful hands. They're so lovely. And just let them relax. And you can just sit back and enjoy. So it's always good to give people about five or ten minutes of wonderful relaxation at the end. And uh, encourage them to take some good deep breaths. So just breathe nice and deep. Deep, deep breaths. And just let yourself relax. That's good. That's good. And you can just... My hands were great for my work. Uh -huh. I was a dancer. Oh, they're very elegant. Uh, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You're welcome. To have um, someone like you appreciate me is a great day. That's lovely. Thank you, Sylvia. Come back. Thank you, I will. Please. Thank you. So we're going to get underneath here by straddling this and not getting Sylvia to help. So just relax the hip. That's good. And then we leave her up like this. And she wiggles back and forth. 
So I'm going like this underneath and like this underneath. And is that comfortable, Sylvia? Is that comfortable? Is that hurtful? Is it comfortable? Okay. Does it hurt? No, but you're very personal, aren't you? Yes, very personal. So that's the kind of feedback you need. So we're going to use the F word. Feedback, feedback, feedback. So you're going to tell me if it's good, and I'm going to ask you questions as we go along. Uh, you'll ask me how I feel. Yes. And I'll say yes or no or bad or awful. Yes. It's a deal. Here we go.